Hey guys, Karen Wolf here in the art studio at home. I'm not sure if it's going live. Not sure if it's going to go live. Oh, yay. We're live. Oh, my goodness. All right. How are you all doing this evening? Karen Wolf here at uh, home in my art studio. I'm a painter and I teach adults and children how to paint and become better painters. Uh, I'm just working on a red truck this evening. Just going to paint it here for you guys in my uh, at-home studio. Make sure you guys can see that here. And we'll just paint and chit-chat. How about that? Yeah. Just going here along with this, painting this little red truck. And you can paint it in a different color if you want. You can paint it in green if you'd like. I'm going to go down here and get you all on my <clears throat> on my iPad um, because I can't see. Well, yeah, I can see. Hey, Tanya. Hey, welcome, welcome. Sometimes I can see you guys on here and sometimes I can't. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Can't see your can't see your comments and stuff on there either. So if you'll say hey when you jump on here so I can see who's on and who's who's following along with me. Uh Facebook's making some changes, so it's hard for me to see uh when you guys are on here and when you're not. I'm just going through and painting this like I said, just painting this red uh red truck this evening. Oh, I hope you guys are doing good on this beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'm just painting in the sky right now. I've got my drawing on and I'm just going around and painting in the um painting in the sky around my my drawing. Usually do a little bit darker around the outside edge. And as I come in, I just go a little bit lighter. So, I hadn't um, been on here and painting since I, what did I paint last? The dog? You know, I can't even remember what I paint for you guys and what I don't. I've got to go from one thing to the next to the next, and I never know what what's going on in my world. I'm just a busy lady. Busy, busy lady. Tammy's on here watching. Hey, Tammy. Welcome, lady. I'm going to be painting a truck this weekend. Some trucks. A little bit different trucks than this. Um, on Saturday morning. This was just a little one that I did, just kind of threw together one day, and I was looking for something to paint this evening, and I saw this, and I thought, well, that'd be something cute, wouldn't it? So, hope you guys can see that. Sometimes I get going, and I think you can see that. Hey, Vicki, welcome. Welcome, welcome. But it's always fun to paint and always fun to watch somebody paint. And you can do follow along with this, follow along with me on this one. Uh, watch it the first time, and then next time you uh, you get a chance, you can get your supplies together and paint along with me. So far, I've just used ultramarine and blue and white. Now I'm going into a little bit of red. Um, I just got a red on here that I squeezed out. I'm not even sure what red it was. It was in my Blick red. Just a bright red it says. Just some of my Blick red colors and I'm just going in with some red and a little bit of blue to darken it a little bit. You can darken red with blue. You can darken red with uh, purple. You can darken red with black. Uh, lots of different ways you can darken your red. Just getting some color in. And you can paint this truck whatever color you want. You can paint it red or you can paint it blue, black, brown. Doesn't matter. 
Whatever color you want, you can paint it. I just decided to paint it red for whatever reason. So, but I have, like I said, I have some truck. We're going to be painting a truck this weekend in the studio, in my art studio. I have over in Fairhaven Square. If y'all haven't been there, y'all to check it out. It's a fun place. It's a fun, fun time. Do some, do some um, painting in there. Do the painting parties. I do painting classes. Do kids parties. Birthday party, kid parties. What else do I do? All kinds of craziness. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Get my hair cut this evening, I can't wait. I'm having a bad hair day. I'm hoping she's gonna fix that here shortly. I, uh, no matter what I do to it, some days it just won't, won't cooperate with me. Y'all ever have that problem? Bad hair days? But we do all kinds of fun stuff in the in the art studio. So if you haven't been, you ought to give it a try. No experience is necessary. You can come on in and paint with me and I'll show you every step of the way. Similar to what we're doing here this evening. Except for instead of me yapping, talking to you like I'm doing, I, I explain to you what I'm doing. So far I'm just using, I've used red and blue for my dark red here just painting in this truck red really just getting the shape of the red in there <clears throat> and then with the i added just a little bit of plain red just to spread the color around but in my dark areas here my red and my blue we'll just get some darks going i'm gonna have to fix that mirror that mirror on this side's a little bit bigger than the mirror on that side although you, the mirror really doesn't even hardly show so it really doesn't matter. So when you jump on here, just say hi so I can see your your comments. I can't seem to get my comments to work. If you're leaving comments, I don't see them. So I <laughs> don't know why that does that. Do not know why that does that. Can't see them on here either. Maybe you're not leaving any comments. <laughs> that could happen too. But if you guys are watching on the replay or if you're watching me now, if you just say hi when you jump on, that'll be great. That'll be great. Right now, I'm just, I added some black to my palette. Just a little bit of black for this bumper. Oh, I forgot to... Adjust the size of that mirror. Got to wondering about the thing. Just going to get a little bit of black in here for my bumper. I don't really care for black. Usually I just use brown and um, an umber and a blue or a sienna and a blue. But just for time saving, I'm just adding some black. And I did add a little bit of blue to it. So I'm just painting in these shapes. Right now, when you first go into this, it's just nothing but a bunch of shapes. Circles and squares and triangles and whatnot. So, hey Pat, Vicki, welcome you guys. Y'all don't mind just saying hey when you jump on here. I'm trying to see if I can see your comments. I'm not not seeing any, but that may be the, mean that there's just not any comments on there yet. So I just added a little bit of white to that. Just gonna put some white. Just make that a little bit gray. How are you all doing today? Pretty good? I hope so. I'm doing all right. Just 
went outside a little bit ago and sat on the porch for a little while talking on the phone to my mom and realized it was uh, it was a pretty day. I'd spent my day inside working and didn't realize how pretty it was outside, but it is. It's a pretty day. Not very humid. That humidity will get you. I understand we're going to have some 90s, so we'll have some big weather, won't we? So just getting some, some color on here. I've just used the blue and the white around in the sky. I added some red, did some blue and the red for the dark, and then just added some reds, more reds in just for coverage, and I'll have to go back over that again. And then I added some black in for the bumper, and then I added a little bit of um, white to make it gray. So, and then I had to adjust my mirror over here because I got a little bit, got it a little bit wonky. So had to fix it a little bit. And you'll have that sometimes, but it's pretty easy to fix. Just go back in and fix it. It's pretty easy. Easy stuff. All right, then I'm gonna go down here in the bottom and I'm gonna put in some grass and some dirt for the road. Y'all ever been on a old dirt road in an old truck? That's what that's where we're at today. On the back road. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in with some green and some sienna. I hope my internet's good. My internet coverage is good. Down here in the in my on my art room here at home, you never can tell my painting, my art studio at home. I have um, not the best internet in the world. Y'all have internet issues? I do. I wish I didn't. That's frustrating. Frustrating so bad. If y'all have good in internet, thank your lucky stars. Thank your lucky stars. Because it is a problem. It is a problem. So here I'm just going in with some green. Green and sienna. And I'm just painting in this grass. Now this is all the underpainting. This is where it all looks all yucky. And underpainting looks yucky. And then you paint in the good stuff when you go back in and you paint the the next go round. So, but this is just a fast little painting exercise. It's not a hard one to do. It's pretty easy. It's not hard at all. And it's fun. And a lot of people like trucks. A lot of people live in the country and have the old, this is just sienna i'm just adding a little bit of sienna and some white a lot of people live in the country and have a little truck hey denise what are you doing on here i was telling him i was getting ready to go for my hair appointment here shortly you're gonna make me all beautiful having a bad hair day today some days my hair just doesn't want to cooperate and today's one of those days i'm glad i'm getting a haircut You're going to fix it. So, and you can go in and paint the background in first. You don't have to paint around it like I'm doing. You can paint the background in first and then paint in your your truck. But with these little things, it's just easy. Just do it like this. No big deal. Just do it like that. Where this is so tiny, I'll probably have to dry it with the hair dryer. Because it's hard to go on to the next step if it's not dry. So I'm just adding some orange and some red. Just getting a bright red for my truck. Just going to do some bright reds for my truck on this side. Some bright reds. All the flowers are going to cover up that middle part there. But you still want to you still want to paint that in, 
and then your darks are over on the this left side because my light source is coming in from over here. So then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna use some black for my red, darken my red with some black instead of the blue since I put black on my plate. And I just use a foam plate, nothing fancy. I'm not, I don't, I'm not fancy. Just use a foam plate for my palette. I used to use a fancy thing, but it, I got tired of the mold. So I just use a, I just use a paper plate or a foam plate. Don't use a paper plate for pity's sake. Paper plate um, will dry your acrylic paint out. That's what I'm using as acrylic. You don't want to do that. Because that... Hey, Paula. Welcome, my friend. Um, Because the paper plate will dry your paint out. The foam plate keeps it moist, so that's good. <clears throat> but this is just a little easy, easy-peasy painting. Start out easy, and then you build up to the more difficult ones. This is just a basic, easy one. Just some shapes. See how I'm about to paint on that? See the shapes? Just the little shapes of the wheel, the shape of the bumper, shape of the truck. It's just shapes. And then you go in and you add your lights and then your highlights, middle tones and highlights, and forms your truck. And it's just something fun. Something you can keep for yourself or you can give them away. A lot of times, uh, people will see your paintings. And this is just sienna and a little bit of white. People will see your paintings and they'll want, uh, they'll want them. So sometimes you have to give them away. <laughs> you get good enough at it, they'll, they'll be saying they want your want you to paint something for them. That's the way it starts. I used to paint, uh, all I used to make crafts to start out with, I guess. What I started out was with crafts, crafting. I made all kinds of crazy stuff. I'd see stuff at the craft shows. You go to those craft shows. Y'all do that. Go to those craft, craft shows. And that's how I would get my inspiration. And then I would see something that I really liked. And this isn't drying off. It's not really covering very good. Um, but I'd see something that I really liked and then I'd make it. And then I would take it to work. And, you know, my family would buy them and my friends would buy them. And I'd give some as gifts and stuff. And, um, oh, I made everything. Everybody knew that I did, and they would they was all they would always say around the holidays and stuff. Um, what are you gonna make this this year? What are you What are you making now? What are you making <laughs> this time? Uh, because everybody liked them and they wanted to buy them, and and that was good, good for them and good for me. And then I got. Uh, kind of out of the crafts and into painting. I'm going to have to dry this real quick. I got into painting and I started painting slates. Hey, Joni. Oh. How are you doing? Hey. Hi, you guys. Thanks for jumping on here. I don't know why this isn't working. Oh, there we go. to dry that a little bit it wasn't sticking very good if you are going from one color to another and it's and it's not dry it won't it won't stick it won't stay on there so sorry about all that noise um but I started painting slates and um oh I loved it oh I loved it and then um I went from that to you know painting the canvas and then the uh, and you can make this look like grass. You can, like, go in sideways like that and then, like, pull up. 
just kind of pull up and it'll make it look like grass, some grasses. Um, but I enjoyed the, the slates and stuff. And then I went to the canvas and painted those and some murals. Love the murals. I mean, there ain't nothing like grabbing some paint and smeared it on a wall. I mean, you know, that's why kids like to do stuff like that. Because it's fun. Because <laughs> it really is. It's a blast to do that. Um, I enjoyed it and uh, did that for a long time. I uh, just added some white to that color, to that green and uh, yellow that was on my brush. Uh, that didn't look very good. I'm just painting over here on the, kind of on my side. I didn't like that the way it was looking. I might go back into that with some darker green. And that's the beauty of the um, the acrylic paint. And that's my husband. If you hear that noise, he's on his side by side or whatever it is. He doesn't know I'm live. <laughs> he might come in here. But uh, anyways, I don't like this. So I'm going to go back in with some, with some dark and cover that up because I don't like that. See, and how easy that was. Easy peasy. Um, that's the thing with acrylic, it's very, very forgiving. So if you think that you don't like something, you can really, um, you can fix it real easy. So acrylic is like that, it's very forgiving. The only thing with acrylic that is a tr is trouble is, is that it um, dries darker it dries real dark. Uh, it dries like two to three shades darker. So um, that's a struggle for most folks. Is because your painting's always too dark. So. But you get used to that and you just adjust for it. But I haven't always painted. Like I said, I started out with the crafts. Which was really fun. Spending hours and hours on my kitchen table or wherever I could find making those things and just having a big time. The baskets and the things out of, I remember one year, golly Ned, making those baskets out of um, paper, uh, ribbon, made a bunch of those. See, I think I used a dark brown for that to get that darker, but I'm going to add just a little bit of black to my, and blue, to my burnt umber, or burnt umber, burnt sienna, to make this a little dark right here. And purple's a good shadow color, so if you got purple on your plate, you could add purple, you could add blue. Add a little bit of black, brown. But that's just to represent like the holes in the, I got into the green, the the ruts, the dirt, the ruts in the mud and when you're going through the, the road, how it does that. So that's what that's to represent. But I made a bunch of those and um, Gosh, I can't even tell you. I made all kinds of stuff. But those paper ribbon baskets, you just took a cardboard box and wrapped it around with the paper ribbon. And I made tons and tons and tons of those. But I once I got into painting, though, I didn't do that craft stuff anymore. I liked painting so much that I pretty much just stuck with it and just kept traveling on that road. The painting... The painting trail and here I am in which I love it I love it and you can too you guys can do this um, I started out with just some easy stuff just some easy patterns on the the slates and that's you know how I learned and I just went from you know one thing to the next to the next to the next and before you know it 
Um, I was just painting all kinds of stuff. And then I, you know, like I said, I went to the um, painting the slates to the canvas to the murals and then, you know, to the painting parties. And then here I am now showing you guys on here. And the reason that I went live, started painting on lives, was, of course, because of COVID. Um, I never did do the lives. And sorry, I'm having to go like that. Um, because I'm getting to my water. It's over there. I could move my water over here. How about I do that? Um, but the reason that... Now, you t now I think of it, huh? Um, the reason that I did that was because of the, you know, the situation with COVID made everybody have to do different things. And um, I was in my art studio painting over there, and I don't normally use pink. I usually wait for this to, to dry a little bit, but since... I'm on here just doing this. I'll probably go back over that with a little bit of red. Um, but, you know, COVID made us all have to do things different. So, you know, I'm used to going there over there with the water. So, you just do what you have to do to make things work. Because I couldn't paint in the art studio. I went, um, I started painting uh, the lives. And you guys uh, followed me on there for a while with that. And <clears throat> then, you know, I think in June, I was able to go back into the art studio, in which I'm still in there now, painting, painting away. But I do the online and the um, art studio now. So... Or I would have never gone live. I would have never done this if it wasn't for that. So we end up doing things, you know, different reasons. Our path, the, you know, in life, our journey. We never know where we're going to end up, do we? I'm just getting some lights in here, just brightening this up a little bit because like I said acrylic paint dries really dark so any opportunity that you get to lighten that up the better that's the thing with that that you gotta do because it just gets darker it just dries darker and darker and darker and it does it just does the more you paint the more um you get used to it, the uh, easier it is on, for you, and the more, you know, the more you'll want to paint. The more comfortable with it, the more you'll want to paint. You'll look for times to, you'll put, you'll put something else off <laughs> so that you can paint. I've got a little hot spot right there where it won't stick. It's not wanting to stick. If you do that, you just have to let it dry and then go back over it. All right. So now we're going to go back up to the truck here and put some flowers in. I'm going to dry this a little bit again with the hairdryer so that I can do that. And it dries real quick. Acrylic paint just dries real quick. So it doesn't take much. It does not take much. And. Yeah, that's dry. So I'm going to use a bristle brush for that. I think I'll use this larger one. Because it's a little bit smushier. Um, and to do the flowers, we just go in with some green first. Go in with a little bit of green. Tap it down. Put a little bit of blue in there. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. Tap it. And you can use purple or you can use blue. It doesn't matter. But you just want to tap your brush. I keep showing you guys down there on my iPad. And you're not, you can't see my iPad. 
just tap, 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 tap. And that's a little bit dark because that's a, um, I'm using an acrylic paint. I'm using um, the Liquitex, um, Liquitex Basics brand. And that's a little bit darker. Some of the ones that I'm using isn't, but this green is. And it's a little bit darker anyways. So when I added the blue to it, it made it even darker. But I'm just pouncing in color, and I'm just turning my brush, turning my brush, making some uneven edges, and just pouncing in this color. Because what this is, is the greenery base, and it's the, um, where the flower pots are in there, a load of flowers. And we'll go into the green. Add some green, I mean yellow. Add some yellow to that green. I hope you guys can see that. It's a little bit tiny. I should have pulled you back in a little bit closer, but I can't move you now. So you just pounce in some color there the green and the yellow. Then I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of white and I'm just pouncing my brush down so that it spreads it out and gets the bristles a little bit apart. And then I'm going in and I'm barely touching. I'm not really touching this much at all. And I'm leaving some of the darks. I'm not getting rid of my darks because I don't want those to go away. And I'm gonna have to dry that again. Well, that's drying a little bit. I'm going to go down here to this color that I used. Get a little bit of sienna, blue, and black. And I'm going to make this just a smidge darker right underneath there. Because that's where the most of the shadow will be. I'm going to highlight... I like that. I like that and that. And a little bit lighter. There. I'm just adding some more white to my. Sienna. Hoping that's drying a little bit while we're doing all this craziness. Then I'm going to highlight the top of the truck here a little bit, here a little bit. Then I'm going to have to dry this a little bit. I hate to do that because it makes such an awful loud noise. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I have a little hook on it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I've got a little bitty hook on it that holds it on my um, easel here. This little hook. It's pinching me. Um, but I it just hooks there on my easel. So I have it... Uh, Real convenient. It's good to always have a, a hair dryer handy when you're painting um, in case you have to dry something to go to the next step. So I rinsed my brush and dried it with the paper towel. It looks like that's still a little bit wet, but I'm hoping that it won't be too bad. So I'm going to go into my yellow and a little bit of white, and I'm going to make some yellow flowers. And I'm just going to touch in with that bristle brush. To put in some yellow flowers there. Then I'm going to go into the white to highlight them a little bit. And then I'm going, oh, I keep going over there to rinse my brush. You get used to something real quick, don't you? You get into a habit of it and you get used to it real quick. I keep going over there to rinse my brush. 
when I move my water over here beside me. Then I'm going to go into the purple. Oh, I don't have purple. Um, what do y'all think? Orange, uh, red. Mm, I'm going to have to have, because the truck's red. I really don't want red flowers. I used purple, and I've got blue for the sky. Huh, going to have to use purple, aren't I? Let me get some purple on my, my palette. Y'all think purple? I think purple, don't you? I like purple. Y'all like purple? Go into the purple, add some white. Hey, Debbie, welcome. Hello. And then I'm going to get some yellow, or yellow, some purple and some white. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just taking that, daubing it down into my, my paint right there. And then I'm just going to touch it in here on the canvas. Getting some purple flowers. And I'm not pushing real hard. This brush is a little big, so it made a little bit bigger flower. But if you just barely touch, you can get some little tiny, tiny flowers. And if you want some darker ones in there, which they are kind of light, just don't add as much. white and that'll get you some darker ones then i'm gonna rinse my brush dry it with the paper towel and i think my paper towel's about had it and then we'll make some orange ones down here orange into the white dab 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 Isn't that cool? And you don't, you want them to be like, you know, different uh, sizes and things. You don't want to really make them all the same. <clears throat> as far as, you know, the shape of, shape of the thing goes. Mix it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back into the white a little bit. Touch in some white. And then we'll do some of the grasses. Are y'all enjoying this? I think it's fun. It's always fun to paint. Painting's therapy, you know. I say that all the time. Do y'all believe me now? <laughs> Gotta get me a new paper towel. Painting is therapy. It is. It makes you feel better. It does. And if you're having just issues of any kind and you just needed something to just take you away and... Get your mind off of your worries and make you feel better. This does it. It's kind of like, oh, you know, some guys golf, some guys fish, some ladies cook. I definitely don't do that. Do y'all like to cook? Mm, I'm not good at it. Um, so I paint. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want me in the kitchen much. <laughs> so I'm going to go back into the green, a little bit darker green. And I'm, I'm using my half inch flat. And I'm just um, putting, where are you? I'm putting the uh, chisel edge on my brush. And I'm going to make some, just some little, of these little spiky things coming out. Got a little bit of orange there. And it's helpful if you dry your canvas a little bit first before you go into another color. But I'm kind of moving that along there and don't make them all the same length make some of them long all right and then we want a little bit of grasses down here on this little spot right here so we want to do some grasses there I'm just taking that half inch flat made it into a chisel edge and we'll go into the yellow same thing mm, where are you chisel edge we now put that in reverse you guys are backwards and it um it's hard me for me to figure out which direction i need to go um you can put some light ones in up here too if you want sometimes you really can't tell the difference and then 
in some lighter ones there. Alrighty. Yeah, and you could bring this up a little bit lighter if you want. for me to paint that way like rolling my arm over like that okay i think that's it might like to brighten this up a little bit over here on this side got it a little bit dark right there if that'll lighten up a little bit light right there but either way it's fine isn't it cute little truck and you can write, um, you can uh, write right here, like, you know, your last name or something like that would be cute. Or uh, flower truck, I think, is what I'd put on some of them. Or, um, like I said, your name or farm use. You could do that if you want. So, anything like that is, is pretty cool. So, there you go. How about that? Hey, Jackie, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> oh, gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I sure did. It's just something real quick. And like I said, you can paint it in different colors. I painted this one in uh, green also, like a green-blue color, uh, which is pretty. Um, you could plant, paint it in, you know, black or make a gray, um, gray truck or, you know, red, green, blue, purple, whatever, yellow, orange. There's all kind of, all kind of trucks, all kinds of colors of trucks. And you can paint whatever color you like. So, just follow the same dark where it's supposed to be dark and light where it's supposed to be light and add your color and you should be fine so um well i hope you guys enjoyed that i feel like i've gotten paint all over me <laughs> but if you'd be interested in painting with me sometime uh virtually i've got lots of stuff online um my website is artbykarenwolf.com or you can paint with me in the studio i have uh just posted a bunch of um in studio classes today um, they're, um, on my website also, artbykarenwolf.com. You just go to the homepage, go to upcoming classes, and it'll take you right to them. Or if you want to paint virtually, um, just go to the virtual, uh, classes, virtual painting classes, and that'll show you what I have that you can, that you can paint with me virtually. So, lots of different ways you can paint with me. There's a paint your, uh, pick your painting um, club, uh, a membership where you get one painting a month, um, for a cheaper price. If you're in the club, you get it for $17 instead of 27 and there's the all access membership. So it's closed right now, but if you click on that, it'll put you on the waiting list and then you can join when it opens back up again. So, um, you all have fun, take care, enjoy, happy painting to you. God bless you all. And I'll see you back on here again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.